I swear on my children's lives, I categorically did not see her. I have always been an attentive and extremely careful driver. There was no one stood on or near the pavement as I approached the junction. The first time I knew of her was when I felt the vibration of a bump as a body flew through the air, landed on the car bonnet and then fell to the ground. As God is my witness, I slammed on the brakes immediately. She must have stepped off the pavement without checking for oncoming traffic. Stupid woman. I didn't stand a chance. Getting out of the car, I saw a line there. She was making a sort of gurgling sound, so I therefore concluded she was still alive. There was no blood, which indicated to me there was no broken bones or serious injury. As the accident clearly wasn't my fault, I drove off. I didn't feel comfortable leaving her there, obviously, but I was due at a very important business meeting. Well, what else could I do? My career is very important to me. It was her fault, not mine. She should have been more careful when crossing the road. It is every pedestrian's duty and responsibility to be road aware. I've been portrayed in the media as a modern day monster, but that is grossly unfair. How was I to know another driver would drive over her? He is the one that killed her, not me. She was lying there in full view of oncoming traffic. So why am I being cast as a murderer? Just because he stopped at the scene and called the emergency services doesn't make him less culpable. I mean, how do you not see a body lying in the road? I maintain my innocence. The blame for her death lies fair and square equally with the woman herself and the other driver. I rest my case.